Hey buddy, and now it's time for another search for retro and nostalgic things in my local thrift stores. Of course, Savers is my favorite and my first of the day. This may look like junk to someone now, but if you found this in someone's home near 30 years ago, you knew they were coffee addicts, or well off, or both. 10 bucks for this thing isn't bad at all, but finding space for it, however, that's another thing. Speed Racer in handheld form. It must be loaded with top speed action and riveting story with blazing graphics and, uh, no. And if Speed Racer doesn't do it for you, you can just slap some racing balls around. I don't know what game this is or ever heard of it, but this box looks so freaking retro. Looks like the family is communicating with the dead through the world of a Ouija. Milton Bradley, 1980, in a really good condition if it's worth anything to anybody. Not much selection today for game grab bags, but mostly Xbox games and Guitar Hero or beat games, you know, the usual. Looks like Saber's Halloween section grew pretty good, like adding color variety for Trump's hair collection. I like the appearance of a gate to the costumes. Surprised to see so many to choose from though, not the kind of place I'd first think of to get them. I can think of a few people who can use this year around. You know, me too. Since I live in a small space, I can't use an oven, so something like this is what I need, just not in this condition. I mean, this one's really beat up. I thought this was some old and clunky blender, and it is, sort of, for ice. It's an ice crusher. If you don't see a George Foreman grill in a thrift shop, it ain't no thrift shop. Well, this is pretty cool, at, you know, at one time. Since not everybody had an AC, cool drinks like lemonade was the next best thing to chewing ice. I can just see mac and cheese and cellophane wrap in this right now. Yeah, I can't help checking out old alarm clocks. Or a clock that looks like something grandpa would get. Now that my bow socks are in the World Series, I would have liked to have gotten this. And if they lose, it's cheap enough to break and not lose out on them. Their Halloween decorations are much better than you'd expect at a bargain or a thrift shop. Very detailed. This may be the most boring thing to frame, but you won't mind it during the apocalypse. I'd like to find one of the classic lunch boxes of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the late 80s or early 90s. The new one is just not the same. Not sure what to make of this design, but it does look a little gypsy-ish. These may look like the real thing, but they're not. They're just worthless piggy banks made back in 83. The TIE Fighter wings are supposed to come off with the press of this button, but... I don't have the force. I don't know much about this, but it says it's a 1993 Paramount Pictures licensed toy. Kind of a cheap feeling, so it's probably made its way here on its way to the garbage. Do you know what this thing is for? Is it like part of a board game? Because I have no freaking idea. On to my second favorite store, where I've had some good finds in the past. A lot of the same repetitive junk for Nintendo, but not a bad selection for Xbox. Such a good system that just got pushed aside. Yeah, this isn't where I'd go to get a toothbrush, but it plays MP3s. It looks uncomfortable, but it has to be one of the oldest viewfinders I've ever seen. Somebody have fun with a marker. I can imagine a Whitney Houston fan's face when seeing this. I've never seen this before, but it is an Airhog X-Wing remote toy. Worth about $30, but got some pretty bad reviews from what I've seen. Probably more of a display, if anything. This Workforce 615 by Epson is a pretty sweet printer, scanner, and machine with Wi-Fi all in one. It's about 10 years old and it's still good for today. I'd like to try using one of these one day, but they don't say what system it's for on the play guitar itself, so that makes it not really worth gambling on. These are pricey sometimes, still being sold around $100 for a poorly rated Go Video Dual Stereo Hi-Fi VCR. Nice. Some cheap compressed wood TV stands with woven wood patterns like those bowls that I like. Spill one drink and these things just melt away. Oh cool. A season 1 DVD collection of the X-Files in Chinese. 
Need some leggings? Come and get them where things are sold old and used. How does Goodwill get so many Similac donated to them? Huh. Now a quick stop at Walmart where drivers purposely stop in the crosswalk to block people who are trying to use it. Too much orange and black in here. I played a quick demo of the new Mario with of course broken controllers at a Walmart. But it might be the best Mario I've played in a long time. Halloween on one end and Christmas on the other. Gimmicky to say the least. But having a tiny arcade helps even if only one game works and everything else is just more of the claw games. But better than no arcade I say. Let's see what's new at the Estate Treasures. I grew up on the shoreline and these model boats could be found in everyone's home. Imagine all the time one took to put together this pirate ship and of course the beautiful Mayflower. So much patience was needed with such careful consideration. And now, to find something on the other end of the store. There we go, some metal and indestructible toy trucks and model cars behind a case. I've played Virtual Pool before, but I never heard of Virtual Hall. Made in 99, it's a sequel to Virtual Pool 2 and Virtual Pool 64. This guy has master weighted. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I've recently gotten into Microsoft Flight Simulator X, but the 2002 version actually had some really nice graphics for its time. Not a bad selection of used games here today either, with Dead Island, Grand Theft Auto V, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas. Also some singles on the side that seem to have seen better days. And down here is Deadpool for the PlayStation 3. This has been a hot game lately and selling really good. Not much for PC games though. A couple of Battlefield games. And this Atari Anniversary Edition, which has been here for a while. Looks like a pen with an adapter that allows you to write on any surface that that big gray thing can attach to. And it shows on your computer or even on the now dead pocket PCs. $20 is too high for an old gimmick though. Somebody had a lot of equipment or somebody lifted a uh, senior center. <laughs> Check this out. This old cigarette machine is still sitting here. This looks like some software in a sturdy box, but no, oh no. Its glass is called the Pathfinder 2, not one, but two, that gives you positive hypnosis change through osculating light using proprietary LED lights. It will help with learning, relaxation, and rejuvenation, or even a life-ending seizure. Nobody has picked this up yet. Come on, people, it's ping pong, it's virtual, it's the future. Now here's a nice extinct e-machine. Had a 40-speed CD-ROM drive and a 16-speed DVD-ROM drive, a 3.5-inch floppy disk drive. Its graphics was an old Pro Savage 8S3 integrated with a 100GB hard drive and AMD Athlon XB2200 CPU at 1.8GHz with a 266MHz Pro Savage DDR chipset and a 512MB of RAM. Basically a big calculator to young'uns nowadays. Remember having vacuum so solid that someone at the bottom of the stairs when one of these would fall down would end up in the hospital? So I picked up some Wii games. Blazing Angels Squadrons of World War II, which got mediocre reviews, but I'm curious. And Call of Duty Block Ops, which when used with the Wii modes ought to be interesting. And that's it. So till next time, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers, and I'll see you all the next time around. And... Happy Halloween!